Hey guys, welcome back to another video. DJI unleashes its first workhorse drone for industrial missions. Drones are increasingly not a consumer gadget. You have your hobbyists, cinematographers, and your Peter Pan wannabe flyers. But the drone industrial complex is where the more exciting innovation is happening. Drones are becoming a key tool in everything from firefighting to vineyard inspecting, giving people a way to see far-flung things they could never ever reach themselves. Where there are drones, there is DJI. Today at Mobile World Congress, DJI announced its first ever enterprise drone, the M200. It's based on the guts and controller of the Inspire 2 and folds up small like the Mavic Pro. But this quadcopter is meant to be carried around in pickup trucks and used for search and rescue missions, cell door inspections and everything in between. It's big and black and slightly insecty in its appearance. The M200's only permanently attached camera is a front-facing lens that streams its view to the pilot at all times. It has a gimbal on the bottom where you can attach your choice of cameras. On the M210 and the M210 RTK variants, there is space to mount even more, two cameras the front and one at the top. You can't mount all three at once but it's easy enough to swap. The upward facing camera is a first for DJI, intended to help with things like bridge inspections where the drone has to fly underneath something and look up. It's also probably the closest view you will ever get to sitting on the tip of a spaceship. Features like obstacle avoidance and flight planning now come basically standard on all drones. But the M200 has a new safety tool, an ADS-B receiver that will tell it when another aircraft is coming into range so a pilot can land a drone before it gets in a chopper's way. ADBS, which stands for Automatic Dependent Surveillance Broadcast, is becoming a standard for aircraft to share their own location and communicate with other nearby aircraft. It's more accurate than radar and lets aircraft automatically do their own air traffic control. DJI calls its version of the tech AirSense. The M200 doesn't broadcast its own location, but can at least sense when something is nearby. DJI says it's been hearing for some time that more industrial users need a more industrial drone, but not something as intense as, say, the M600. They're using models like the Inspire 1, but want something more rugged with longer flying time and fast setup. They want to use drones for aerial inspections of railroads, power turbines, and bridges, as well as construction site mapping and more. So the M200 can fly for up to 35 minutes and since it has two batteries, it can be easily hot swapped and sent back skyward. It's IP43 certified which means it won't withstand a hurricane but can at least go up in the rain. The new drone starts shipping in the second quarter of this year. No word yet on pricing except that it'll be the DJI's most expensive drone till date. DJI is not entirely sure how people will use it. They're hoping the combination of modular hardware and an open API will lead the companies down lots of different paths. The company believes in the same thing Intel and others have discovered. There is a better business case for flying, streaming camera than anyone realized. Anyway, that's pretty much it for the video guys. Feel free to leave a comment down below and let me know what you think about this DJI's most expensive drone. And subscribe and stay tuned for more videos. Peace out.